So welcome back. So you have this beautiful API auto-generated for you, this help page. So if I click here, I can get in and see all my different calls, but there's not a lot of documentation. Now, if you want this documentation to be generated for you, you'll have to follow a small guide. And that could be this one, or it could be this page right here. If you want to go to this page, just copy the URL if you want to. I'll try and add it in the description, if I remember. Um, in here, you, you can go down to approximately the center of the site. There's adding API documentation right here. Now, it says something about going into a specific folder called help page config CS folder. The parts above this place is actually deprecated because we're using a newer version of a web API than this guy is. But here, this is still valuable. So I can go into areas, help page, and app start. So let me try and go in here and have a look. Areas is down here under my REST API and help pages. This is actually the dynamic area building a MVC application that can present all these REST APIs automatically for you and dynamically as you add more and more routes to your system. You don't have to change anything in here. Just if you want more information, we have to make a few extensions ourselves. In this guide, there's an app start and here there's help page config CS file. I open this one and then I, there's some predefined information that we can comment in. So let's have a look here. There's something about setting a documentation provider. Let's see if that was the one they talked about. Set documentation provider, XML documentation provider, yada, yada, yada. And he's putting in this area, XML document.xml. So let's have a look at what he actually wrote in here. I'll just comment this in first. That's what he says I need to do. And I'll just make it into a few lines so you guys can see what it actually says. Commenting it in, giving some more space. And then um, let me just make a new line here. And a new line here. Oh. There we go. So it says, you need to set documentation provider and you need to map it to this path calling XML document.xml. Okay, so this is some kind of conversion actually of documentation that you'll build soon that'll be passed into this XML document.xml. Let's have a look at what I'm talking about. Let's try and just continue following his guide. You can read this step by step if you want to. If I go onto the build page right here, I can say properties. So let's have a look at what that is. Going under the build page, the properties here, right click, I'll say properties for the person application REST API again. It's down here, there we go. And here I'll go under build. And if I scroll down, it says XML documentation file. It pops up automatically with something in bin folder, but he says I need to pass in a specific URL here. So I'll follow his guide step by step. And he wants me to pass in this URL right here, right? So I'll do that. It says app data and it says XML document. So I'll just grab this one right here. I'll copy it and paste it in on the XML file under the properties right here. I'll save that and let's just continue following the guide. So it's down here now. If we continue, we also need to open the values controller and now we can actually start adding some summary. So here's an example where he adds summary like this. Let me just try and copy this for you and just paste it in. Now, I think this is the hard way to do it. Let me just try and just go into our REST API here, um, going into our controllers, going into a wishes controller. And if I just add three front slashes in this guy, front slash, front slash, front slash, this will pop up automatically for you. And I'll just write, this is the delete function. I'll save it, I'll try to rerun this. See when it's up and running. So the page is back up and running. Let's have a look at our API here and see what actually happened. You'll notice that everything still looks the same, except that now there's actually information about the delete function. So let's just zoom here. Now it's actually saying what I put inside that text. So that means that just setting this up, I know it took a bit of time, and again, I spent a bit of time figuring this out. But when you know this now, you can go in and just start documenting everything you have here. Like, uh, this is my post. So let's just add a post here, triple front slash. I'll add, um, this is the great post request. Remember, I like chocolate. You can put in any comment here that makes sense, that can make it valuable for you. So who wants to use your REST API to try to understand something specific about the, the call you're going to make here. That will make a lot of value when we start working with things like um, a pagination and um, searching and sorting. But right now, it's, it's, it's fairly simple to use your REST API, so it might not, might not be required, but later it will. So see you in the next lesson where we'll try and play around with more of this, uh, we'll actually start using the REST API uh, from a client side. So 
Again, it's all in here, so have fun with it. See you next time.